this question relates to genetically modified foods and where or what kinds of foods are still safe to eat and uh, I can uh, point out uh, some of the foods that are definitely genetically modified and uh, it's best to avoid them because of the, the body's immune system uh, developing a resistance to those kinds of foods, developing allergies and complications with the absorption of uh, those uh, you know, genetically modified uh, substances. So there, there are um, you know, foods like very commonly used foods like, like soybeans, uh, which you know, ninety-three percent of which are genetically modified, and then uh, that's followed by uh, corn or maize. Uh, you know, which are modified at a rate of 86%. So um, most of uh, you know, these kinds of foods are uh, genetically modified and should, if possible, be avoided. Um, not all countries have opted for uh, you know, planting and growing genetically modified uh, crops of soy and uh, of corn but uh, many countries have now you know, jumped on the bandwagon uh, out of fear of uh, you know, not being competitive enough, uh, even though it's been proven now that uh, genetically modified uh, corn has actually a lower uh, you know, uh, rate of, of production uh, than uh, the regular uh, normally grown you know, corn. Then uh, there's uh, the the uh, um, cotton seed uh, cotton seed oil uh, yeah, is, is mostly genetically modified 93 percent of it and then uh, there's the yeah, the rapeseed oil which uh, is sold as canola oil uh, that is genetically modified 100 percent because that oil doesn't even exist in nature um, yeah, you know, rapeseed oil. Uh, is only used as a motor oil or engine oil, but it's not fit for human consumption. It's far too toxic. So to uh, alter it and change it um, to make it suitable for human consumption, it had to be genetically altered, uh, which was done in Canada. That's why the oil is called Can Canada Oil Canola Oil, uh, which is 100% genetically modified. Um, it is uh, very risky to take that oil it, uh, in experiments on mice. It has shown uh, the mice developed uh, brain tumors, uh, brain cancers, and uh, many other ailments. Then there is a, a more recent uh, you know, genetically uh, modified, introduced uh, modified food, and that is alfalfa, which is fed uh, to as, as a feed to animals, uh, and then uh, the, the genetically modified uh, compounds obviously uh, accumulate in the animals that are then eaten by humans. Uh, so you know, if you are eating meat, uh, then uh, you may have to consider um, you know, accepting that there are genetically modified com components in that meat. Then uh, there's uh, the, in Hawaii, uh, there's the Hawaiian papaya. Uh, so the papaya that comes from Hawaii, that comes to the mainland here, 80% uh, of uh, the papaya is genetically uh, modified. Um, tomatoes, uh, th there was the attempt to grow genetically modified tomatoes, but uh, th the crop failure was so huge that they uh, you know, scrap that plan. So tomatoes are not genetically modified, so you, you can still eat them. Obviously, it's better to eat uh, organic foods uh, you know, because organic foods are you know, they don't are they are not genetically modified foods. So if you want to be safe um, and you know, only eat foods that are not genetically modified as long as you eat organically, certified or organic food, then uh, you're pretty safe in that respect. Um, then there's uh, sugar beet, uh, some of the sugar uh, that is grown, uh, about 10% is genetically modified now, and um, some squash um, yeah, is genetically modified about 13 to 14%. 
and uh, so there, there are more and more foods that are coming on the market that will be uh, genetically modified and it's good to uh, you know, do a Google search, uh, find out which foods are, are you know, new foods are uh, going to be uh, genetically mo modified. Uh, it's very important that we protect ourselves against uh, those kinds of foods because they literally uh, change the, the ability of the immune system, the digestive system to um, adjust to those uh, new types, types of foods which can be adequately described as Frankenstein foods because the body, the human body, needed uh, millions of years of uh, learning to adapt uh, and to, to utilize the foods that have grown uh, on this planet until then and to have such a drastic uh, cha genetic change that occurs in those new foods uh, is not, uh, you know, the human body doesn't have the capability of making that adjustment and it can uh, create genetic damage uh, to the human DNA. Having said that, uh, you, I, I would suggest uh, you do your best, uh, try to find as much organic food that you can eat or locally grown food which doesn't have uh, the genetic uh, modifications in them and that uh, will keep you and your family as safe as uh, you can possibly uh, do. So thanks very much for the question and I uh, hope this answered it. Mm -hmm.